Dremel CNC just officially became a fully open source project. I was thinking a lot about changing the license from non-commercial to fully open source and I finally did it. Initially I wanted to protect my work from a company or someone that would like to sell my digital files or maybe even a complete kit of Dremel CNC but because I got a lot of emails from you asking if you can use the Dremel CNC for your business, if you can cut stuff and sell stuff uh, and I was always totally okay with that because it's great to hear that such simple DIY project can help you with your business so that you can make some money and you know use it for your projects or anything. Uh, I was also totally okay with printing the parts for your friends or for money. I don't care, I'm selling the parts also on Tindy. Uh, but if you can make some money, that's fine. So the non-commercial license was really misleading for all of you guys and that's when I started thinking about changing the license from non-commercial to fully open source. I'm also not really into telling you that anything that you designed, any derivative of my project, you should share as this or this license or that this is my own work because it's not, it's your work and it's up to you. Uh, what you will do with this but I highly encourage anyone to share pretty much anything you design on the internet because you know maybe something that you designed will help someone on the opposite side of the planet and maybe his design will help you. You never know and it's always good to give back to the community. So those are just my thoughts on the open source project and why I changed the license of the Dremel CNC project. If you would like to support my project the Dremel CNC and pretty much anything I'm doing you can do it on Patreon link is in the description and now the last thing that I would like to talk about in this video my big CNC project that I told you a few videos back uh, that I'm working on I'm working still on this project it's going very very slow way slower than I would like to I finally decided to redesign pretty much this project completely and this is what you can see right here uh, those are new drawings I'm thinking a lot about all of the problems I want to master every little detail of this project to make it just perfect uh, but we have a problem and that's kind of a big problem because I was just about to order uh, like aluminum profiles, linear rails, some ball screws but not all of them and stepper motors and just those few things are already $800 so that's quite a lot and the question is if anyone is interested in building quite expensive CNC machine because you know we have already $800 and there is still quite a lot of parts for the frame to buy, spindle, electronics and those kind of stuff so this project may be really expensive and I'm not sure if any of you is interested in building such expensive CNC machine. An alternative to this project is to build a second version of Dremel CNC of course a lot better without printed parts without the Dremel uh, with linear rails, of course aluminum profiles, so it will be kind of similar to the Dremel CNC, the original Dremel CNC, uh, but also completely different and better, also a little bit more expensive. And I'm thinking that maybe it's a good idea to build something in between the Dremel CNC and big CNC, something middle size, you know, like uh, maybe 50 by 50 centimeters of working area. Something like this would be a cool project, still kind of inexpensive, uh, but better than Dremel CNC and not as expensive as my big CNC. Uh, I will eventually at some point finish the big CNC project and I will build it but maybe between the Dremel CNC and big CNC it's a good idea to build something middle sized. Let me know what you think about this idea in the comments. If you want to support my work there is a link to Patreon uh, and I hope that you are happy that Dremel CNC is right now a fully open source project. Thank you very much for watching, happy making, bye!